Telocytes are a novel defined type of interstitial, stromal, cells, in the field of stem cells, with very long, tens to hundreds of micrometers, and very thin prolongations, mostly below the resolving power of light microscopy. Rationale for the term telocyte Professor Laureniu M. Popescu's group from Bucharest, Romania described a new type of cell. Popescu coined the terms telocytes, TC, for these cells, and telopodes, TP, for their extremely long but thin prolongations in order to prevent further confusion with other interstitial, stromal, cells, e.g., fibroblast, fibroblast-like cells, myofibroblast, mesenchymal cells, see figs 1-7. Telopodes present an alternation of thin segments podomeres, with caliber mostly under 200 nm, below the resolving power of light microscopy, and dilated segments, podoms, which accommodate mitochondria, rough, endoplasmic reticulum and cavole, the so-called Ca2 plus uptake slash release units. The concept of TC was promptly adopted by other laboratories, as well. Telocytes and slash or fibroblasts. The interstitium, stroma, is in most of the cases seen as a connecting device for the specific structures of an organ. Usually, people perceive interstitial cells as being mainly, or even, only, fibroblasts. However, fibroblasts have the function of generating connective tissue matrix, specifically, collagen. The distinction between TC and fibroblasts is obvious since they have different ultrastructure and phenotype. Therefore, their functions should be mostly different, TC, intercellular signaling, connections, but fibroblasts, collagen synthesis. In other words, TC are more functionally oriented while fibroblasts are more structurally oriented, responsible for fibrosis. There are some clear ultrastructural features that differentiate telocytes from fibroblasts. For instance, the general aspect of TC is of a small oval, piriform slash spindle slash triangular slash stellate, shaped cellular body, containing a nucleus surrounded by a small amount of cytoplasm. Anyway, the shape of the cell body depends on the number of TPTC cellular body average dimensions are as measured on M images, 9.3 μm plus or minus 3.2 μm, MIN 6.3 μm, maximum 16.4 μm. Fibroblast nucleus is typically euchromatic, but TC nucleus is mostly heterochromatic. Mitochondria represent only 2% of cell body volume and the Golgi complex is small in TC. Fibroblasts Golgi complex is prominent and the rough endoplasmic reticulum is very well developed, usually 5 to 12 percent, of cell volume. Since telopodes are distinctive for telocytes, here are their main features. Number, 15, frequently only 2-3 telopodes are observed on a single section, depending on site and angle of section since their 3D convolutions prevent them to be observed at their full length in a 2D very thin section. Length, tens up to hundreds of μm, as measured on M images, e.g. figs 2 to 10. However, under favorable conditions in cell cultures, their entire length can be captured in several successive images, fig 1. Thickness, uneven caliber, mostly below 0.2 μm below the resolving power of light microscopy, visible under electron microscopy. Maniliform aspect, podoms and podomeres, average caliber of podomeres, 0.1 μm plus or minus 0.05 μm, MIN equals 0.003 μm, maximum equals 0.24 μm, podoms accommodate, mitochondria, rough, endoplasmic reticulum, Cavole, a trio called CA2 plus uptake slash release units. Branching, with a dichotomous pattern. Organization in a labyrinthine system, 
forming a 3D network anchored by hetero and homocellular junctions. Summary Here is shown visual evidence, electron microscopy, electron tomography, phase contrast microscopy, for the existence of telocytes, TC, in many organs from human and rodents. TC and TP, and also podums and podomeres were found in cavitary organs, heart, endo, myo, and pericardium, stomach and intestine, with mesentery, gallbladder, uterus and fallopian tube, non-cavitary organs, lungs and pleura, pancreas, exocrine gland, mammary gland, placenta, kidneys. Recent evidence shows the involvement of TC in pathology. TC are strategically located in between blood vessels, capillaries, nerve endings, and the specific resident cell population, S, of a given organ. TC establish via TP homo and heterocellular junctions and release shed vesicles and exosomes. Perspectives, Regenerative Medicine TC and SC make a tandem, due to specific intercellular junctions, within the so-called SC niches, at least in heart and lungs. Hence, TC could be key players in regenerating and repair of some organs. The tandem TC-SC could be a better option for therapy rather than SC alone. Published studies suggest that cardiac TCS could be regarded as a potential cell source for therapeutic use to improve cardiac repair and function after a myocardial infarction, either alone or in tandem with SC. Recent data show that TCS are completely different from FBS, using a quantitative proteomics approach, suggesting that TCS might play specific roles in mechanical sensing and mechanochemical conversion task, tissue homeostasis, and remodeling slash renewal. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.